Okay, today I am making a potato frittata. I love this frittata because it makes a great breakfast, but it also makes a great lunch or dinner. It is so versatile. Okay, let me walk you through the process of making amazing potato frittata. First, peel a large roasted potato. I am using roasted potato here, but any stashy potato will work as well. Once you're done peeling the potato, give it a good rinse, then dice the potato. When you dice the potato, it should come up to about one heaped cup. Place the potatoes into a pot, then add a cup and a half of room temperature water. Bring the potatoes to a boil and let them boil for 5 minutes. After they have boiled for 5 minutes, strain them, then season with 1 eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Now dice 6 rinsed Bella mushrooms. When you dice the mushrooms, they should come up to about 1 cup. Also chop some chives. I am using chives in this recipe but you could use green onions or even leeks. You need about a quarter cup of chopped chives. Also shred some cheese. Cheddar cheese or mild cheddar cheese would work here. You need a third cup of shredded cheese. It should be heaped, that's no problem at all. <laughs> now add a tablespoon of olive oil to a skillet placed on high heat. Let it heat up for one to two minutes, then add the potatoes to the skillet. Let the potatoes cook until golden brown in color. Be sure to stir from time to time so they don't burn on one side. Meanwhile, crack six large eggs into a medium mixing bowl. Mix the eggs to combine, then add a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder. This is what the bouillon powder I'm using here looks like. Also add a teaspoon of onion powder or onion granules, a quarter teaspoon of pepper flakes for some heat if you like, that's totally optional, then add in some white pepper or black pepper. Whisk everything together to combine. Then add in the chopped chives and whisk to combine. Set that aside. When the potatoes are a beautiful golden color, they are ready to leave the pan. Now add another tablespoon of olive oil to the pan, then add in the chopped mushrooms. Add 1 8 of a teaspoon of salt and 1 8 of a teaspoon of pepper and mix everything to combine. I really love white pepper you guys because of its flavor but you could totally use black pepper. That's okay as well. Keep stirring the mushrooms until they shrink considerably, then add back the potatoes to the skillet and arrange everything to make sure that they are in a single layer. Now add the beaten eggs to the pan and you'll see that as soon as you add the eggs to the pan, they start to set around the edges. Now sprinkle the cheese over the egg mixture. Let that sit on the stove top for about 3 minutes. Then transfer it to a 350 degree Fahrenheit preheated oven and let that bake in the oven for about 7 minutes or until the eggs are set. Cut into wedges and enjoy. You guys, this is 
so so good with the potatoes and mushrooms in there oh my goodness and i must know that you can add any vegetables you like to your frittata you know i just decided to keep it simple but you could put any leftover vegetables you have in your fridge this is absolutely to die for for breakfast for brunch for dinner any time of the day this is the perfect meal mm -mm -mm. thank you guys so much for spending time with me be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and i'm going to see you in my next video Bye!